Learn how to compete by staying relaxed. By doing this, competing and starting to be relaxed, ah, fuck. I'm just living like so Good afternoon, everybody. Spencer here for another episode of the Athlete Special. Guys, before I get any further into this video, let me flip this hat around and let me know what you guys think about this puppy right here. The Athlete Special hat is out. Um, here's a picture of my sister Larkin wearing one right up here. Uh, yeah, we're still in the production process for all this. I can't sell this stuff yet. However, as soon as I get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, which is incredibly close, I'm going to be doing a massive giveaway. So here's my Instagram. Follow that up there. And um, with that being said, guys, let's get this video started. For today's video, I want to go over five tips on how to improve cross country. This is for high schoolers. This is for college kids. This is for recreational runners, for anyone, how to improve your cross country ability. I finally had a good race in cross last Friday, so I feel like now's a good time I, uh, to show you can make improvements. I'm not naturally the best cross country runner, but I made a lot of improvements this summer, and um, I'm here to give you guys the inside scoop. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Rack, 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 rack. Guys, before I even get into my first tip of the day, uh, growing out a little bit of a beard, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm feeling kind of rugged, badass, um, just kidding, but uh, it's cross country season and I can't really grow out a mustache that well, so I'm trying to grow out a beard, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, now I am back from my breakfast. I was actually on the phone with one of my good friends, Ray Rivera, for a while. Uh, stay in touch with your friends, guys. Anyway. Tip number one for you guys for improving cross country, do your summer training and be consistent with it. That is one thing I think I showed throughout my grind series this summer, through all the videos I posted. You have to do your summer training. You have to get your base up. You have to get your mileage in. Don't overtrain. Don't go crazy. Have fun during the summer, but also get your mileage in. Get your base in, and that will give you the strength for the rest of the season for cross country. There's no specific mileage to do. I was running maybe 70 to 75, 65 some weeks. So that's not actually crazy high for a college distance runner. But it was more about just consistently getting out the door, doing 8 to 10 mile runs every day, a fast long run once a week, and having fun with it. You know, you have to be able to enjoy your summer, but also put the work in and not think about running too much. You just gotta do the work, get it done, have fun, enjoy your summer, but get the grind in. So that's tip number one for improving cross country. Tip number two for improving cross country, you guys. This is a really important one, and it's finding a consistent pre-race ritual that works for you. So for me, it's I wake up six hours before the race, we usually do a 10 minute shakeout, and then I eat a bacon, egg, and cheese, and a banana. And then about an hour and a half before we race, I drink just a nice hot coffee. That works for me for cross country. And the best way to find what works for you is do it during workouts. Do that pre-race ritual during workouts so it's no different for you during races. One of my good friends, Michael Crozier, former Georgetown runner and coach. Of course, you guys know who Crozier is, 30 Seconds with Crozier. He actually texted me before the race saying, dude, it's no different than your long runs you've been doing this summer is the same as getting ready for your races. So you have to find something that works for you. And once you do, then trust me, it'll, it'll work out. All right, guys, I'm going to go for my double, but I will see you after it. <sighs> All right, guys, we are back here. The uh, double went well today. I ran eight in the morning and then I did five more this afternoon. Um, I'm feeling kind of tired, but that brings me into my next point, my next tip. Tip number three, maintenance. 
listen to your body, listen to when you're tired. And let me put it this way. One big workout isn't going to make your season. It's all about being consistent throughout the whole year. And that's how you're going to do well over time. So if you're tired and run down, take the day off, do your stretches, do the little things that's going to help you stay healthy. Because at the end of the day, if you're not running because you're injured, you're done. That's it. That's, that's going to make you, you're done, you know? So, um, maintenance is very, very important. And, you know, one of my good friends, Robbie Andrews always says, you're not going to, you can't get it all back in one day. It's, it's all a bunch of little things that you're going to do. So with that, um, let's get on to point number four. Guys, tip number four for how to improve in cross country, learn how to compete in the sport. The sport is not about time. Time is completely irrelevant in cross country. Now you might ask, how do you even compete in cross? How does this tip even make sense? And it's all about staying relaxed. So the real main tip is learn how to compete through being relaxed. And relaxation really starts from your warm up. Work on your breathing, trying to really relax your muscles as much as possible because cross country races hurt from the gun. There is nothing like a cross race when you're three miles in and you're absolutely torched and you're dying and you can't breathe and you just have to learn how to relax and compete too. You know, you're trying to take bodies down out there. So when you're just going out there all tight, sort of like sprint form, that's not going to help you for a cross race. You need to be fluid and you need to be mentally engaged throughout the whole race and really be relaxed. So competing and being relaxed is tip number four. I want to actually add a little bit to the point number four. It's all about patience in cross country as well. Now, right here is a clip of me running that last race in cross, and you can see how I'm sort of itching at the front for a while, but I'm being patient. I'm not letting it go too early. And then now here's the next clip of me ahead. I was not patient enough in my last race. I should have waited even longer to start my final kick because as you can see now in this final clip, I'm getting passed by this kid and I'm finishing in second place when maybe if I was a little bit more patient and just bided my time more and waited for others to make the move and let the race come to me rather than me dictate it, then perhaps maybe I would have won the race. Um, so that's just a small little point in there that you really need to be patient in these races and let the race come to you. And that also relates to being relaxed and competing. All right, guys, final tip of the day, tip number five to how to improve in cross. It's all about being engaged throughout the entire season. You need to be mentally there the entire year because at the end of the year, that's really all that matters. How you perform in September, how you perform in October, that matters a little bit and it builds, but the most important races of the year are obviously in November. Uh, that's for high schoolers and for college kids. So you need to be mentally engaged and build upon your mental preparation throughout the year. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I think matters is just running for your team, not yourself. And that really helps you stay with it mentally for the entire year. Um, and with that being said, guys, those are my five tips on how to improve in cross country. Comment down below your own example or tip that you think would help others improve let's get a discussion going in the comment section um i'm excited for the rest of the season though guys i really am and um big workout coming up tomorrow we'll have that filmed so i'm excited about that and like i said guys there's just so much stuff coming on this channel and, and it's it's awesome that you guys are a part of it and, and that it's been happening you know so uh sorry if this was a bit of a talk video but um you know, I had to switch it up and I hope you guys kind of like these informative uh, types of videos. Anyway, that's it. Have a good day, everyone. We'll see you guys soon.